Hi, Hi everyone. So <laughs> yeah, go, the boat started together. That's fine. Let's yeah. do it. You know this. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. You know, and uh, we're going to talk about uh, PBN hosting and uh, Gautam knows it about because he's been getting uh, people emailing, oh, I want to drop the domains, I want to stop my PBN hosting, um, my client yes. is gone for this lockdown, all this period is happening in the world. So we want to talk in this video what you should be doing about I've been anyway talking about this for, for, for more than a year now. Even I, was, I wrote an article about how to make money from PBNs because I also told your PBN should be built like your virtual properties and not just to plug some backlinks. I, I wrote about it even on this PBN SEO. I have a guide even written about how to make money from PBNs, right? Which is I wrote it on my blog. And uh, we want to talk in this video what you should be doing for your PBNs during yes. a time when you feel like SEO industry is in a, in a tough situation because when the clients stop and they stop paying you, or they just want to discontinue the their PPNs or things, what you should be doing about it. Right, Gauda? Yeah, exactly. So during this tough situation, so so many people are frustrated, like their clients are not paying, their clients are dropped out, and uh, they're feeling like, why, sh why I should maintain the PBN? But the PBN is not only for a particular client, so it's very powerful and it's very, very very useful as well. So here in this video, we just want to explain you all about what you should do with those PBNs and why you should not drop those because you're just building it years and years and you dropping it for a, for a month, then it's going to be a very, uh, it's going to cost you a lot. So in this video, we just going to cover, cover you everything. So Fernanda is going to explain everything like what you can do with the PBN and what are the possible ways to earn with the PBN. Yes, Fernando, we can start. Yeah. So, um, as, as Gautam said, like the, that's what we want to cover in this video. Like you like just imagine the first place to build a PBN a private blog network. You already invest your time on finding P, uh, expired domains or you spent paid somebody to provide you the expertise. So you did an investment and then, then it's you build the PBNs. Then you let them match where you publish content. So if you drop this PBN just because of our, oh, like my SEO project is gone, maybe the client's stopping for the SEO project. That should not be the case from the, from if you read an article, um, how to start, how to build a PBN, even on CCOS, you will, you will realize how I advise people to build a PBN. Your PBN should be built with a niche specific focus and then be, be populated, uh, should be populated with authentic content to support the web. That means Google picks up on it. Google starts sending traffic, it grows. So those PBNs are built long term. That's one of the ways that you should be building PBNs. That's how you protect your PBNs from any any deindexations whatsoever and it could happen for your private blog network. So you need to have a long term approach when you're already starting to build a PBN. So now let's look back what happens if you you know, just say you build 10 PBNs, 20 PBNs for a particular niche for a particular client, just say business niche, one of the good ones, right? In this post, actually, I talk about the, how your PBN should be built in a way to make you money, right? Like, because a lot of people think you put up an expired domain, put some bad content and plug some backlink. It's it will, in the first place, it will not help or pass on any SEO if you are, if you got even a good expired domain and you built in a manner, just put some just little rubbish content and plug backlink, which like a lot of people do. It's not going to get you any expert. Google is smart. Google knows how to pick up on what you've written and things like that because if a backlink comes, you don't think your ranks are going to. So that's why a lot of people, oh, PBS doesn't work or my, my money site ranks are not going. That could be one reason your client is already leaving. Or else if you're a business owner who has been building your PBS, that, that's one of the main way, things that your PBS cannot pass or help your SEO. So, Take the first approach, right? By building the PBM the right way with amazing content. And that in that way, you can you can have the PBMs for a long time. I tell when you're building something like a business, that's how in my life I build everything. It's a long-term approach. You you invest in your time, things that's going to last longer. No, no just like putting up a thing, just trying to roll, roll up that project. It doesn't work in the first place. If you think like you can put up a, a, private, a blog on expired domains and at two months get some SEO power and uh, just uh, drop it if the project, it's not going to go in the right approach anyway. You need to, from the start, invest with amazing content, build it for a long term. So now let's look back about how you can make money from your PBN. So if you have built your PBNs in the right way with great content, with list posts, I talk about all these things, how you should be building your PBNs. Like these are the seven steps we cover. Of course, once you 
look at these seven steps, then it comes down to your PBS and monetization. So if you're doing client SEO, you have built hundreds or tens of dozens of PPNs, you or clients want to leave maybe, they stop their SEO project for some kind of a reason, not only the current reason, current situation, they just stop the project because they maybe thought they'd seen up or they just went bankrupt or things like that. You can use that PBN, private blog network, to a different purpose, maybe to support the links of another client, or if until your clients, uh, another client, you find it, you can sell guest posts on it, right? You know, if your PBS looks well, you build it right, it's getting some traffic. I talk about in how you may, may monetize PBS when you're building the right way. You publish list posts, you actually put a lot of hard work to build your private blog network, so they attract traffic. You need to build your blogs like brands, so you will never have the indexation issues, power uh, delusions, losing the backlinks for those expired domains that you used to build a PBN. Nothing will happen if you build it the right way. I talk everything on this, how to build a PBN guide, which you should build the right way and expired domain. So if you say you lost the clients, and then you can actually reach out. So one of the easiest way for people can do whoever have like a lot of uh, people who are reaching out to them and saying, oh, I don't want to continue. My, my client just left me. Now I don't know what to do with my PBN. Just this is what you do. Just say you have 10 PBS built in a particular niche to support that client. You know, there are other business owners, SEO agency owners, SEO consultants rounding the web who are operating and did this. Not that everybody's gonna shut off their business and go. You can always email to them saying, hey there, I have a 10, 10 site network in the business niche or the CPD niche or health niche or orthodontist, dentist, locksmith, or any niche. You can email to them say, because if you build your PBS the right way, you're not gonna to have to hide them when you email to them. You can literally email them and say, look here, these are my 10 blocks, have a look. And if you want to publish guest posts, just let me know. I'm happy to happy to ha have a chat with you. And these are my prices. Or just tell these are the prices. It's twenty dollars per post uh, on a each blog, thirty dollars, fifty dollars, depending on your how the PBNs are built. I talk about in the how to make money on your PBN. That's the exact way. Anybody of y'all who have your PBNs at this moment, if you lost your client, this is how you monetize. If you have ten blogs, this is how you do it. If you have 20 or 100 blogs, more the blogs you have, more the money you can make. If there are other advantage of you actually doing that one, what happened by doing that, you get more traffic. You just say you email to 100 SEO consultants in the world, just um, saying your 10 PBNs or 100 PBNs and with your niche relevance, you put it on Excel sheet, email to them, or just send a cold email to them, reach out to them, reach out to them through social media, through email, through LinkedIn, and say, these are your ways. So they click to your website, your traffic goes up. I'll talk about a lot of things on another video, how to increase traffic drastically for your PBNs, how to evaluate your PBNs, how to score on those pages that get traffic and maximize on them to improve the PBNs value, to make it very attractive for the people who will potentially buy guest posting on your PBN. So buying guest posting is a very long-term thing. People do that as you consultant do this all day long. And um, this is a, one of the best ways you can earn money from your PBNs. You know, you yes. guys, it really works. You've done it. Yeah. You know? so, yeah. So also, Fernando, I would like to put some questions forward, which our yeah. clients come with us. Like, because some of them are coming up, like uh, they just want to drop the domain and they are not, uh, they are not dropping it. Uh, like they just dropping it for free. Like they just leaving it to get expired and they just uh, leaving it as it is. They are not earning with that. So is there any possible solution that they can do to earn with the uh, domains that they're going to drop? They should like, is there any option like domain auction or anything? Yeah. Yeah. They should actually do the Seacoast domain auction. Right, they can actually yeah. start auctioning. Don't drop the domain, guys. At least try to sell the domain and make the money. You can put it on the Seacoast cost domain auction and then beat the price. Yeah, like if your PBS were built in the right way, there are enrams like ways that you can make money. First of the place, I will tell you if you can make the money from your PBS, don't sell it, right? Or else if you really think like you don't want to be in the business, you want to sell it, let it get matured put it on the auction, let the people bid, when the price is right, sell it because you spend the money, cover up your cost of ideally from a domain that you already got an expired domain, you can make money, you can make 50, 100, because a lot of people are more interested in buying an expired domain that he's already built a blog and he's indexed on Google because then they're like, oh, this domain is really good. I will get this domain because they don't have any hesitation about like buying from a fresh domain vendor because uh, then it's not indexed, it's not built because 
it has a very high value. So say you bought expired domain at $20 or $50 or whatever the price, you can uh, always actually uh, build that domain upon the auction listing and then get that one. So these are the options yeah. that you can actually uh, pass on and get the domain on the expired yeah. domain and then uh, okay. auction, the auctioning it on the Seacoast domain auction, you know, ask more information about to from Gautam by reaching out any email, send us an email if you have in, any information yes. that you want to know about it. So that's other thing, right? So guys, like there are things, don't drop your domains. If you're dropping, at least email to me and say you want to drop it at me. Don't just let it expire without me knowing. <laughs> because I'm waiting yeah. to buy your domains if your domains were built in the right way. So you can make some yeah. money. And yeah. uh, on another video. So I'm actually going, people, yeah, actually people don't want to worry if they have built it in a right way. Yes. They should never, they should never worry. Yes. Yes. So actually they should be very concerned while developing it in a proper way. Yeah. That's the thing. Really. Yes. Because build your blog from the right way from the beginning. It's like you will only drop your house or you can't rent it out if it was shit, if it was not built right, if it's not, not secured, if it is not in the right neighborhood, then that's the thing. But if you just like bought your property at the right neighborhood and it's all clean and built nicely and livable, you can always rent it out. You can always make more money from it, right? There are ups and downs, but there are so many ways you can monetize it. Same way with your private blog, blog networks, when you build it right way, I will go very deep in another session of videos with Gautam about yeah. the PBN building process to straight away to monetize. You don't even have to wait until the clients comes. You don't build PBN because you've got a client in the business niche or a, some sort of a niche. You build the PBNs for you. That's why you spend the time and build your blogs in such a loud limit. Guys, understand it. That's why you yeah. should not even do it in the first place if you're just trying to build it because you've got a client and you want to drop it if the client is gone. You don't do things like that. It's it's not the way to play a business really, you know? Yes, so, yes, yes. So, so that's the thing. If you want more yeah. tips about of reaching out and who to email to get guest posting orders, I can send some customer email plans that exactly we received I cover that on yeah. the if you take the you uh, local SEO blueprint uh, on the more uh, your SEO monetization. I actually talk about it because I live show how people reach out to me with their pri private blogs asking me mm -hmm. to buy. And some of the videos I think I cover then and there how I literally place an order and buy for like thirty dollars, fifty dollars guest post. So if you haven't yeah. seen local SEO, so actually you're mentioning about the course that we have in Seacoast University, Seacoast right? Seacoast University, yes. Right. Yes. So, yes, yes. so there are a bunch of articles there as well. So people yeah. can get it there. So uh, just bringing into the conclusion. So guys, so if you are uh, in a tight situation, if your clients are not paying and if you are planning to drop a domain, don't drop it like anything. So these are the possible ways. If you are built it in a right way, you don't want to worry about dropping at all because it's like your own website. You just want to build, keep it as an own website because it's very worth because it's have the authority and you have spent a lot of time during these days. So you just want to make sure like you can even sell guest post or you can uh, even sell the links or you can reach out to the new clients like uh, you can just get new clients like if you want uh, because I have this much blogs so as mentioned by Fernando yeah. I have this much yeah. blogs if you want a link you can get it from me. So these are the various possible ways. So there are then and there there are so many ways to earn with this PBNs. So dropping it without any idea is not going to be your choice. You just want to be smart and you want to act smart at this tight situation and you want to make it profitable so you can either do so or else if you if you just came into a conclusion like dropping a domain don't drop it like anything because you have spent a lot of time you have did so many works it's powerful then you just want to sell it and you can just go to the domain auction so even in Seacoast we have an option like domain auction you just come here you drop your domain and auction it so there are lots and lots of people who are looking for the uh, expired domains so also you don't want to mention it as an expired because you have it live. So it's very powerful than expired. So what do you feel, Fernando? So expired domain is uh, powerful than live or which is powerful? Expired domains are powerful. You know, they have eight, they have backlinks, they are less work. You have to do it. And uh, yeah. expired domains like literally helps you to really like eliminate a lot of hard work to be done. You know, that's in the first bit. Yeah. You get expired domains. And um, Gautam and the other article I wrote, yeah. wrote about on the fair, and Raymond, there is a one uh, PBN SEO, right? So I went okay. into detail about how easily anybody can evaluate a, a PBN and then yeah. um, find about it and when it's about getting it. So, yes, guys, 
Build your BPN yeah. in manner long term. Don't drop it. Do not drop it. If you want to really drop it, reach out to us. Maybe we <laughs> yes. build it right. We might actually get it from you because you can make so much money from your PPNs in the hardship. Just don't freak out and try to drop your PPNs and run off and just like being hopeless in the business. Because if you leave at this moment, you're missing the good time. This is the time you can build the PPNs even better by putting money. You have time really. So that's what we want to give it to yes. you in this video. And if you have yes. questions, you can always join the PBN uh, Demystified Facebook group. Ask us any questions. And for PBN hosting, uh, like uh, PBN hosting page is there. Try us if you're a new person, the free trial. And uh, we're here to help you in any way for your PBNs building and things like that. So thanks for listening on this video, guys.